Episode 1, Chapter 2. Uh, uh. See, the homies just want to have fun. So please check the list, because I got a plus one. Kizzy and Bionic sitting on a bench across the way from a very small showcase and a food vendor. Sloppy Menteria burgers are in their hands. A band that isn't very good is playing. Loud. They're playing for glory. They're playing their hearts out to an extremely small crowd. Kizzy and Bionic are sitting directly across from the showcase eating their burgers. Close-ups on the burgers, the sloppiness of them, and the way the two make sure not to spill any on their clothes or shoes. Another burger ready here. Man, the best thing about this showcase right now is the food. These Menteria burgers smack. Yeah, like literally. The band is called Discord Freak, and they're terrible, singing a song about a blockchain bully. A few random fans stand around tapping their toes offbeat to the music. There's a little feedback and you can literally see and hear some stagehands maneuvering instruments on and off the makeshift stage while Discord Freak is playing. It's a typical low budget show with more people on stage than in the crowd. They bang and twang and howl through their set and the POV is of the guitarist, the drummer, and the lead vocalist then to the disappointed few folks in the crowd. To be honest, this seems like one of the not-so-rare occasions where the band's name is better than their music. Discord freak crescendos, and then they stop abruptly and scream, Thank you! As the thin crowd quickly disperses. Random festival attendee says, Rugburn is about to play over at Club Menteria. Huh? Let's make our way over there. Did you say Rugburn? Kizzy and Bionic overhear this and look at each other knowingly. They both flash with pride and anticipation. Rugburn? Yeah. Rugburn? That's what I said. Man, we love them. We follow each other. Let's go, Bionic. Maybe we'll get a chance to network with them and show them what we're working on. Flashback. Flashback to Kizzy and Bionic and Vilcha making music, selling it at record stores, tearing up medium-sized stages, going on tour. We see flashes of Kizzy writing raps. Oh, holograms never going anywhere. I promise I got plenty. Bionic making beats, and the two of them on stage and receiving some medium-sized glory. Then we see flashes of Vilcha Corp. Dun, dun, dun. Buying up all the mom and pop stores and all the venues. So there's literally nowhere for our duo to expand. It used to be challenging, but possible for an artist with great talent to become very successful. There were fun places to create, sell, and perform your art back in the day. That's before Vilcha Corp started spreading their toxic corporate seed all over Vilcha. Eventually, they put a stop to all DIY artists who didn't already have a big machine behind them. Back to the bench where Kizzy and Bionic are finishing their Menteria burgers. Kizzy takes out her phone and goes to a Twitter-looking page and shows Bionic. Rugburn is following her. She starts tapping away at the screen. I'm going to message them right now and let them know we're coming to the show. Maybe we'll get a chance to hang or even get a shout-out. A shout-out at Menteria Fest? That would be just the super connection. Super connection. We've been looking for. We could attract artists just like us. The duo throws their trash away, brushes their shoulders off, look each other in the eye assuredly, and start to walk away. They're walking deeper into Menteria Fest. They see posters for Rugburn as they approach Club Menteria. (laughs) 